Video 4, Advanced PubMed, Literature Searches for Complex Questions. Video 3 covered how to do a simple search in PubMed. Sometimes you may find that a simple search does not retrieve relevant articles. When this happens, you may need to conduct a more advanced search. This video covers what is in PubMed, how to identify the key concepts in your topic, how to identify subject headings relevant to your topic, and how to use some PubMed search tools, including search details, the MeSH database, and advanced search. First, what is in PubMed? We know it is a database of citations to journal articles in medicine and the related sciences. But is the full text of the article also available within PubMed itself? Unfortunately not. PubMed contains only the citations to articles and links to the full text options. Therefore, you are searching only the citation information, such as the article title, journal title, authors, page number, volume, and issue, and the abstract if it's available. You are also searching something called the medical subject headings or MeSH terms assigned to the article by indexers at the National Library of Medicine. These MeSH terms are chosen from a list to describe what the article is about. So to get articles on your topic, it is important to choose search terms that will best match the MeSH terms or medical subject headings. In PubMed, your search terms are automatically mapped to MeSH terms. This is done behind the scenes for you. However, you should check the search details to make sure that PubMed found a good MeSH term for your concept. If it hasn't, then you can look for a better subject heading in the MeSH database. Before starting a search, think about the topic and what information you want to find. Identify the key concepts in your question. In the example of attitudes towards the HPV vaccine in developing countries, our main concepts are likely the HPV vaccine, attitudes and behaviors, and developing countries. Search one concept at a time so that the terms can be mapped to MeSH terms more easily. Let's start with our first concept, HPV vaccine. Go to PubMed by logging into Hanari and clicking on the PubMed link. Type the first concept into the search box. Note that as you type, suggestions may appear. These are not MeSH terms, but are simply terms other people have searched for. It is safe to ignore these terms. After clicking search, the results appear. Scroll down to view the search details box to determine whether we were mapped to a relevant MeSH term. Click on See More to make this area larger. Our term, HPV vaccine, was mapped to the term papillomavirus vaccines. The system also looked for the terms papillomavirus vaccines and HPV vaccine in all other fields of the citations. We have been mapped to a MeSH term that is relevant to our topic. We can now search for our second concept, attitudes. Directly from the search screen, Type attitudes into the search box at the top. Note that we are not searching within our set of citations about the HPV vaccine, but are rather creating a second set of articles on our second concept. We will combine these at the end. We will again check search details to see what MeSH terms were included for attitudes. We were mapped to a MeSH term for attitudes. Maybe this is a good term, or maybe it is too broad. 
If we want to see if there is a better mesh term for our topic, we can scroll back to the top of the page and change the search option to say mesh. This looks directly in a database of mesh terms for the one that is best. Our results are now mesh terms that have something to do with attitudes. Note these are not article citations. We are in the mesh database not the PubMed database. It seems there might be more relevant subject headings for our topic. Click on a term to see the definition of it. This term is about attitudes to health, disease, and the medical care system and is more specific to our topic than the term attitudes. Below you can see more about a term, including how it relates to other MeSH terms. This is a broader term than health knowledge, attitudes, and practice, and includes narrower terms such as patient acceptance of health care and treatment refusal. These would be good terms to include in our search. When you search with a MeSH term, the system will automatically include citations that are indexed to narrower terms than your term unless you tell it not to. So if we use this term, attitudes to health, we will automatically also find citations that are about these narrower topics. So to include this in our search, we can send it directly from the MeSH database. Click on Add to Search Builder, and then click on Search PubMed. This takes us back to the results page in PubMed for the selected term. We can now search for the last term, Developing Countries. Again, check search details to determine if this was mapped to a relevant MeSH term. It was. If it had not been, we could return to the MeSH database to find the appropriate term. We can now combine our sets together. Scroll back to the top of the page and click on Advanced Search. This page contains the search history for the session. To combine sets from the search history, simply click Add next to the set numbers associated with the best sets. The default is to AND sets together. AND is used for finding a set of articles that has both or all terms, and OR is used for finding a set of articles that has either or any of the terms. In this case, we will use AND because we want our results to include all of our concepts, HPV vaccine, attitude to health, and developing countries. Click search. This is a narrow topic and there are only a few results. In video three, we used filters to limit our results. Filters are not necessary now since there are not many results to look through. Instead, you may want to look at the options for free full text and Hanari to see what can be accessed in full text. In summary, to conduct an advanced search, you should first identify your main concepts. Search one at a time and check details to see if you are automatically mapped to a good MeSH term or medical subject heading. If necessary, go to the MeSH database to find a better term and send it to the search box. Combine your best sets in advanced search using ANDs or ORs. Apply limits if necessary and look for Hanari and free full text buttons to connect to the full text of articles. This concludes video four, Advanced PubMed.